So you might be wondering why I'm sitting here looking like a less cool Casey Neistat. Well, it's because today I have the Xreal Air 1 and the Xreal Air 2. These are augmented reality glasses or some might call them extended reality glasses. And you might be here because you wanna know what's been upgraded since version one of the Xreal Air. Or you might be here because you might be wondering what are they? What can you do with them? And are they worth buying? Well, by the end of this video, you'll have all of those answers. And let's kick this off with what are they? Well, at the time of this video, the Xreal Air 1 are the best selling AR glasses in the world. Both of these are portable home theater solutions built into sunglasses that you can easily carry around with you. And they're even more portable than a small tablet. Inside the Xreal Air 2, a two 1080p Sony micro OLED displays that support 120 Hertz. They also have a peak brightness of 500 nits. These glasses offer a 46 degree field of view. And when wearing them, you can choose between the equivalent of a 32 inch display all the way up to a 330 inch cinema screen, which I think you'll agree is insane. So when you've got these set up, it's like having a cinema screen on your face. Now, I know you might be thinking, that sounds like it might not be good for your eyes. Well, Xreal have actually gone the extra mile and partnered up with TUV Tuve Rhineland to make sure that these are safe and they do have the Tuve Rhineland certificate to prove it. And Xreal have upgraded the built-in speakers, which can be found here on each arm. And these are open ear speakers, so that means if anyone's sitting close enough to you, they will be able to hear the sound from these. And I will say the sound when wearing them is really quite impressive, very crisp and very clear. And you even get a little bit of spatial audio qualities in there as well, which really surprised me. And while the speakers are good, the preferred option for me personally is to rock these with earbuds in. You can wear these with over ear headphones, but that will cause a little bit of pressure behind the ears. So it's not gonna be the most comfortable to use them like that for longer periods of time, but you can do it. There are also microphones built in, so they can be used for conference calls and phone calls as well, which could be helpful in certain scenarios. And Xtra will have added some background noise canceling algorithms for the microphones. So that could also be useful in a busy office environment, for example. There's a wear detect sensor on board so they'll know when you're using them and when you're not. And when you're not using them, it will switch off the displays and that will help your host device save power. The onboard buttons consist of a power button and a brightness rocker. That doubles up as a volume rocker. If you hold it down, it will adjust volume instead of brightness. Now there is one additional button that you get on the Xreal Air 2 Pro version, which I don't have here and that is a button located on the other arm. And this is an electrochromatic dimming feature, which increases the darkness of the tint on the sunglasses without having to add an extra visor. So this means that with the push of a button, you can adjust the darkness and block out the light so that you can see the display inside the glasses more clearly. And that feature is the only difference between the Xreal Air 2 that I have here and the Pro. And if you want that feature, you're gonna to have to pay an extra 50 quid for it. But for some of you, it might not be that necessary. And let me show you why. Here's what the Xreal Air 2 come with. You get the hard shell carry case, the glasses themselves. You get three different size nose pads and these are upgraded from the previous version. They're even more comfortable now. A prescription frame if you need glasses, a microfiber cloth, USB-C display port cable. And you'll notice this is nicely angled so that you can plug them into the glasses without the cable hanging down in a funny angle. And then there's this, the upgraded light guard. This still lets a tiny bit of light through, so you're still aware of your surroundings. The previous guard was a complete blackout, so you could kind of see light around the edges, but you couldn't really see anything in front of you. So this is definitely an advantage, and with this, you don't necessarily have to have that electrochromatic adjustment that you get with the pro version. The main difference is that you will actually have to attach these to the glasses when you want to block out light. So what are the upgrades that Xreal have made from Gen 1 to Gen 2, other than the things that I've mentioned already? At the time of this video, the Xreal Air 1 retails for £339 and the new Xreal Air 2 retails for £399. That's a £60 difference. So here's what you get for the extra money. One of the first upgrades that Xreal have made is an upgrade to the case. So the Xreal 1 case, which is this one here, it's a hard carry case and it's got this kind of snapping mechanism and you'll have the cables loosely packed here at the bottom. 
The Xreal Air 2 case has been upgraded with this kind of soft touch texture. It's got a zip now, and it's got a little compartment underneath for the cable. That is a USB-C to C DisplayPort cable, which you do get with the Xreal Air 1 also. The Xreal Air 2, a 10% thinner and 10% lighter than before. The nose pads have been improved for comfort. The ends of the arms are more flexible now than they were before. And this will reduce the amount of gripping pressure behind the ear when wearing these for long durations. And just like before, the arms do still adjust to three different angles so you can make sure they're as comfortable as possible. And all of these upgrades make the Xreal Air 2 far more comfortable to wear in comparison to the Xreal Air 1. And the weight distribution has also been upgraded. So now the weight is more towards the back so you don't feel massive pressure here on your nose or here behind your ear. The upgraded screens offer better pixel per inch density now with peak brightness that's been increased by 100 nits. And I did mention the upgraded speakers earlier, but what I didn't mention is the improved positioning of those speakers, which means these are gonna sound way better than before. So to put it simply, the extra Air 2 are more comfortable, the picture quality is superior, the audio quality is upgraded, and you'll notice the ones that I have here have this blue color on them. And that's because Xreal do sell different skins for the Xreal Air 2. They call it the Kaleido Kit. And there are a bunch of different colors you can choose from. And I'm definitely a fan of this blue one that they sent me. And there'll be links to all of this stuff below the video if you want to check out the prices on these. The last subtle but much needed upgrade is the Light Guard Shield now blocks light from underneath here at the bottom. Now this minor tweak is a significant improvement because the inner lenses on the glasses are angled down towards your chest. So if you're wearing any kind of light color clothing and the light is shining on it, that's gonna be reflected up onto the inner screens. And it's very distracting. And the light guard on version one didn't have this protection here at the bottom. So this, although it's not talked about much, is a massive improvement in my opinion. So in my opinion, all the upgrades that I just mentioned are definitely worth the extra 60 pound for the Xreal Air 2. Let me know if you disagree. So if you've made it this far into the video, you must be really interested in the Xreal Air products and you probably should find out what the Xreal Air 2 works with and what they won't work with. Now, thanks to the USB-C display port, they work perfectly well with pretty much any Android device. However, they don't work with Google Pixel devices for some reason. I found that out the hard way on my last plane journey. But these are the perfect partner for Samsung Galaxy devices because you can use screen mirroring and you can also use Samsung DeX, which gives you a full desktop experience and you can use your phone as a trackpad, which is pretty awesome. And now they do work well with the iPhone 15 thanks to the USB-C port. However, I did encounter some issues with Prime Video on the iPhone. I downloaded an entire season of Invincible onto my iPhone for a 12 hour plane journey. And when I got on the plane, I ended up getting a VGA error, which meant I couldn't play back any of the videos that I just downloaded. However, Netflix works perfectly well. And in fact, when you watch Netflix, you can actually close your screen and it will continue to play in the glasses. So you're not having two displays running at the same time, which is good, saves power. Also, YouTube works perfectly well on the iPhone with these as well. And they work seamlessly on pretty much any PC device. I've struggled to get it working with the Mac. I'm sure there is a workaround for that, but I haven't figured it out yet. And I'm told it works perfectly well with the Steam Deck and the Asus ROG handheld. And with the Nintendo Switch, you can't use them unless you get this add-on from Xreal. This is called the Xreal Beam. Yes, it looks like an old school iPod. Essentially what this is, is an Android device. It has its own operating system built in and it opens the door to a lot of features for the Xreal Air 2 that you won't get if you don't have these. And that includes being able to use it with the Nintendo Switch. The two ports here on the back are for the glasses and also an input device. So using this, you can plug in your Switch and play your games whilst on a plane on a massive screen. It also has a built-in battery, so you'll see less power drain from your source device. And you'll also unlock three spatial display options. There's the anchor mode where you can lock the screen in front of you. So even when you turn your head, it stays exactly where it is. Then there's the follow mode. And this allows you to turn your head and it will follow more smoothly than it does if you don't have the beam. Now you might be thinking, what's the point in that? Well, this is specifically for 
bumpy rides. So if you're on a bus or a train and it's very bumpy, with the glasses, without the beam, you'll see the bumpiness reflected in the screen. With this, it kind of acts as a gimbal in a way and it kind of softens the movement so it won't be as distracting. And then you have what Extra will call the side view. This is kind of a multi-screen window where you can background things on the extra device so you can skip between the different screens using the beam as a pointing device. The beam does have some apps pre-installed such as Netflix, Prime Video, and it does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So this means you can use the extra glasses without your phone connected or any other device other than the beam. And it also allows you to adjust the distance of the screen, which is a really nice feature. This costs around 120 pounds. And I think if you're a power user, you'll probably want to pick one of these up and you'll definitely want one if you're a Nintendo Switch owner. And something else that the Beam brings to the table is the fact that you can plug in a HDMI to USB-C cable, which makes the input options for the glasses even greater. So there are many possibilities here. The number one use case for me with the Xreal Air 2 is definitely long distance travel. I played Zelda The Tears of the Kingdom for six hours straight without the Xreal Air glasses, and that's because I forgot to bring the beam, which meant I couldn't use them. And I can still feel the pain at the back of my neck even now. And it's almost as painful as forgetting to save my progress before the Nintendo Switch fully ran out of battery. But with the extra Air 2 and the beam, that painful gaming experience would have been half as painful because I could have been resting my head back on the headrest, looking at the sky, watching the Switch on a 330 inch screen instead of the little tiny screen rested on the fold out table in front of me for six hours. So let me know in the comments, what would you use the Xreal Air 2 for? And here are some ideas for good use cases. Right now, I'm actually using this as a kind of teleprompter. I can read my script off from inside the glasses and it only just occurred to me now to use them like that. But you could use them for productivity, for work with Samsung Dex, for example, or maybe whilst doing some stationary exercises on a bike or something like that. Maybe you could use it as a viewfinder for your drone or even as an extra screen for when the missus is hogging the TV. Or you could even use it as a heads up display when you're walking down the street, if you're brave enough to rock them with a cable hanging over your shoulder. So let me know in the comments, what do you think of the Xreal Air 2? And let me know in the comments if you've subscribed or not, because I had a little look, around 95% of the people who watch the channel haven't subscribed yet. So if you've just done that, you're not one of the finest subscribers known to man. I will see you in the next one. Don't be late.